the Elections Watch Committee of the Gambia released its position paper on the 2022 election bill on Saturday. The Elections Watch is a coalition of seven diverse organizations aimed at promoting election integrity, accountability, transparency and impartiality through monitoring and observation. The position paper is intended to inform and guide the National Assembly, facilitating the improvement of electoral reforms in the Gambia. It provides background information on the need for electoral reform and outlines methods for achieving it. During the press conference, Mr. Ansumana Kamara, chairperson of the Elections Watch Committee, advocated for the removal of clause allowing attestation for voter registration from the election bill. He also presented statistics on attestation from the last electoral cycle. The EWC is of the view that every Gambian should have a birth certificate, identification card or passport. This, the government and Gambia Immigration Department should work to facilitate people across the country to have access to. The issuance of attestation by Alcalo or CFO can be, be, can be abused or ev as evident in the 2021 general voter registration exercise where EWC observers reported that 385 of 472 reports indicated that some or many applicants utilized an attestation from form of identification. 11 of 472 reports indicated that all applicants use this method to register. Our recommendation is to delete section 2D from the bill. Mr. Kamara also discussed the appointment of a chief electoral officer, emphasizing the need for a clearly defined mandate in the 2022 election bill. He stressed that the qualifications for this position should also be specified in the bill. Number one, appointment of chief electoral officer. The commission shall appoint a chief electoral officer who shall hold office in terms, on terms and conditions specified in his or her letter of appointment. The EWC is of the view that the term of the chairperson of the IEC should be clearly outlined in the Act. This will dispel the uncertainty of the number of years one can serve as chairperson of the Commission. As the, ca as the case is currently, the term of the chairperson is unknown to the public. Equally, the bill does not specify the number of commissioners that will be appointed together with the chairperson to make up the Commission. This could lead to a deadline, so a decline in public trust in the electoral process. The Act has not clearly stated the qualifications of the positions of electoral officer or chief electoral officer or commissioner. For an independent institute of this nature, the qualifications for the position must be stated to facilitate the appointment of individuals with track records and character to execute their duties. Addressing voter rights, Mr. Kamara stated that excluding prisoners from voting violates their human rights. He urged the Independent Electoral Commission, IEC, to include prisoners in the electoral process. Concern number four, disqualification from registration as a voter. A person shall not be entitled to have his or her name entered or retained on a register of voters if he or she is serving a sentence of imprisonment. The prisoners are already serving time for their crimes. Their freedom of movement and other freedoms are already limited. It is a violation of the civic duty to deny the right to exercise suffrage. EWC's position on this is to ensure prisoners exercise their right to vote. The IEC should facilitate their registration and access to the polling station or stations. Additionally, Mr. Abdullahi Oba, clerk of the National Youth Parliament NYP, emphasized the importance of strong legislation in building robust institutions that support and promote democracy in the Gambia. Because it is when our institutions and the people that preside over those institutions are not strong and are not trusted, then we have doubts, then we have questions, and then we have problems. But if we solve those problems by having legislations that are appropriate and are guided by the trust and vindications of the people and the citizens in a country, then we avoid all of the problems that we have. Because then we have documents that guide our approaches, we have instruments that guide our, pr our practicals, and then we have institutions that preside over the way people do and administer themselves. 
then we wouldn't have a problem. And I want to believe it is our responsibility together as media, but of course as civil society, to continue to remind our people in the assembly that it is their responsibility to ensure that the legislations that are put in place are the legislations that reflects the interests and the aspirations of the Gambian. Then we will not have to question the laws that we have in place, and then we will be able to move on as a nation that is developing with a thriving. The 2018 Afrobarometer survey in the Gambia indicated that 88% of Gambians trust elections as the best method for choosing leaders. However, the same data showed a decline in trust in the Electoral Commission compared to 2018. The National Assembly can play a crucial role in strengthening electoral laws to maintain and enhance this trust. Reporting for Kerfatu, I am Landin Sise.